Hey guys, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to teach you how to make some low poly art in Adobe Illustrator. Once you've opened your picture in Adobe Illustrator, make sure you create a new layer on top of it for the polygons to go on. Ninety percent of this project is going to be done using the pen tool and what you do is you just make a bunch of various triangles and you're connecting them all together. Then you'll take the direct select tool which is the shortcut A and you'll group the points that are all touching and you'll align them center and vertically. Now this is going to take a while so just be patient and sit back and relax. It's really easy to do and it's pretty fun and if there's any areas that aren't completely touching 100% in a later step we're going to go back and fix those. To work on the sunglasses and the frames, I made new layers and I just tried to get as much of the details in there as I could for the frame. It's going to be kind of hard since these are triangles, so you kind of just have to mess with it and get something that you like. Now that the wireframe is done, we can now move on to the part that is really going to bring this low poly portrait to life, which is coloring all these individual triangles. It sounds really tedious, but for me this is my favorite part, and all you do is you select the whatever triangle you're on that you want to color, and then you choose the pen ink dropper, and that is the shortcut I, and you just choose a random color from the image, and that will be what the triangle color turns into, and this is so that we can get this low poly portrait as close to the original image as possible. Okay, so all of my polygons don't perfectly match up, so what I did was I created a copy of all the different polygons and I set them to black and I merged them all together. That way it could be an underlying layer of the art and it will make it look so that everything is filled perfectly. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you could do me a favor and like the video or maybe subscribe so you can see future projects I'm working on. But let me know in the comments if you like this video or not. Thanks.